Well, you folks, how are y'all doing? Yeah, you want to get some more wood flavor in your pellet grill, folks? Yeah, well, I'm going to show you how today, but I'm not going to show you how to do it like this. So I'm going to show you something pretty cool here, folks. And it's been around for a while, and I've used it on and off through the years. I've had it for a couple years. And uh, I tell you what, you don't have to go out and buy some fancy schmancy new pellet grill that's got some basket on top of there. Uh, all you need to do is buy one accessory from one company, and that's right. You can put those wood chunks in there, and you can be making more smoke, getting more rich wood flavor out of a pellet grill. Simple to do. I'll show you how. All right, let's take a look at it online because everybody always wants to see smokedaddyinc.com, folks. That's where you go for it. It's called the Heavy D. And you can see it's 100 bucks to 115 They have the, the one you're saying, well, which one do I get? You got to measure them. You see you've got the dimensions right there. But the, the more expensive one, I believe, fits for the Pit Boss. Yeah, you can see it's 99 for the standard one. And then if you go to there to, for Pit Boss, and that's the one that's 114 but uh, if you take a look at the thickness of this thing, let's just take a look at the thickness on here. Uh, 10 gauge. Yeah, that's pretty thick still. This thing's got some weight to it. So uh, not, only, not only are you able to then burn sticks, you know, splits on your pellet grill, but uh, you also got yourself a heavy duty uh, uh, fire tamer because uh, you don't have to use this just with wood in there. You can uh, just use it without. In fact, I'm gonna show you something else. So you wanna get a little bit more moisture into your meat or something like that? Take these, these are from Charboil, and uh, they slide right in. You fill those up with uh, water or say juice or beer or something like that. Give it a little flavor to it. So not only can you burn you know, additional wood on here, but uh, you can add additional moisture into your cook, I, I, like I said multifunctional so i have not run my pella pro vertical in a, in a while a long while so we're going to take advantage of it today and uh and we're going to fire up and put two wood chunks one on each side yeah you could put four of those in there but two because i'm not going to put any food in there i just want to show you how it's going to work so let's get it set up all right i got the heavy d in there i did put one chunk on that side already and i'm just going to slide another chunk in just like that my like i said you could put four of those in there but just for showing you how it works I'm just going to put two on. I'm going to put those slides in there. Now, the reasons for the slides is just to limit. It, it doesn't really limit the oxygen, but it does. It keeps the flames from coming out the side. So it gives you more of the, uh, some more smoke. And what's going to start it is the pellet grill itself. So you know, it's not like you have to light it yourself. The pellet grill will do that for you. Let's get her fired up. And I'll leave the shelves out so we can take a look occasionally at what's going so on. So there are other ways from smoke daddy of making fire. This is one of the original things there. This is like a cold smoker fits on the outside of your grill. And you actually, I've done some videos on this. I'll, I'll put one down below in the description. Anyway, what you do is you put one chunk of charcoal in there. You light it from the bottom and there's a screen in there. And once it's going, and like I said, this connects to the side of your pellet grill, just like this. I, and then there's a screen there you put the wood chunks in there and then there's it uses believe it or not it uses like a little air pump from like an aquarium and it blows the smoke into your grill so if you want a cold smoke or something like that check out smoke daddy we'll look for a look there. Her up and give you a couple I'll leave you a review of this grill. I'll tell you what, if you're looking for something with a lot of room, double insulated, reverse flow for about half of it, the smoke goes around and comes back out over there, has a daisy wheel on top. You can even get a ventilation fan for it to even out the temps throughout the grill. This thing has got a lot of capacity and this is the second generation of it. They now have a third generation, which has some upgraded grates and a lot more spaces and they got a whole lot of cool things. So if you're really getting serious about it uh, and thinking about making, you want to make a lot of stuff, folks, <laughs> I will not get rid of this grill because it is just, it works phenomenally well. And when I need that grill to do a lot of stuff, a lot of smoke, this is All it. All right, got the PID uh, from Pell Pro set at 225, reading 220. I just want to show you the gauges here. Yeah, I, I talk about consistency. The thing runs phenomenally well. All right, you can see the smoke. I can smell the oak burning. And it's a, it's a nice, clean smoke coming out. Not a heavy smoke. You don't want a heavy smoke. But uh, it's working very, very well. Right, we'll take a look at the inside, see what it looks like on the inside. You can see we've got smoke. Oh, yeah. Smoking real nice, really nice. You can actually see 
down there, you can see some of it burning. And now you can see a reflection of some of it burning. So you know it is working. But the advantage of something like this is even when you turn it up, I got a set of 325 right now, you can see my gauges, is that I'm still getting smoke at 325, nice clean smoke at 325 and that's where this works real nice so we'll continue on here folks uh probably go another half an hour <laughs> yeah i do have the fan running and the fan is what evens out these temperature on here without the fan on these two are dead on and it's it's a little bit cooler probably about 50 degrees down on the very low part of this grill the fan fan evens it out all the way around give you a look see once we're finished up but uh if you're wondering how to get uh more smoke out of your pellet grill folks and get a new heat diffuser right out of it Ch check out smokedaddyinc.com folks i'll leave the link down below let's take a look see once it's done well i decided to keep on going until i didn't have smoke anymore it's still running 325. yeah you can see it it's still smoking let's look on the inside it's pretty impressive that's just two two chunks of oak in there oh yeah oh yeah very nice does it work? Yeah, it does. All right, an hour and a half, I'm just gonna wrap this up, folks. Yeah, the heavy D, folks, check it out from Smoke Daddy Inc. I'll leave the link down below, thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, uh, thanks for watching.